Africa is the least explored oil and gas region of the world. Out of nearly 3,000 oil and gas blocks available in sub-Saharan Africa, only 30% are under license. The hydrocarbon potential is enormous. 320 billion barrels of oil equivalent of undiscovered recoverable resources. By 2030, Africa will account for 17% of new global liquid supply and 18% of new gas supply. In recent years, Africa has been the dominant leader in oil and gas discoveries. In 2013, nine of the world's 20 largest discoveries were in Africa. In 2014, it climbed to 11 of the top 20 in a year where global discoveries dropped to the lowest level in two decades. Last year, Africa again outperformed the rest of the world, accounting for more than 60% of offshore discovered volumes. In the last two years, we've seen some truly remarkable finds. Cobalt had its fifth consecutive pre-salt success in Angola with the Orca-1 well. Senegal finally proved its potential. Cairn Energy's SNE-1 find was the world's largest discovery in 2014. Congo and Gabon have shown that their stars are not fading, both with pre-salt discoveries in 2014 discovered by ENI. Moving into 2015, ENI made the find of the year with the massive Zor gas field in Egypt. Operators looked for more gas offshore East Africa and succeeded, with Statoil making its eighth discovery on Tanzania's Block 2. At another African energy frontier, Mauritania, Cosmos made two play-opening gas discoveries. Finally, BP built on Egypt's Mediterranean success with the North Damietta gas discovery. As a frontier for oil and gas exploration, Africa's surface has only just been scratched. The drilling activity pales in comparison to the resource potential still present. Africa accounts for just 5% of the international rig count, less than any other continent. But with oil prices down, Africa is struggling to attract capital. Below $50 a barrel, only a third of $270 billion of potential projects in Africa are economical. The downturn has not stopped African countries from targeting short-term opportunities and courting the interest of ENP companies. Several frontier markets witnessed increased seismic activity in the last year, and many countries have completed or are hosting oil and gas licensing rounds now or in the very near future.